What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mud doing a Fluff Hunters video for the Grand Duchy of Talabakland. And um, most of the information I'm getting are up here on the Warhammer Wikia as well as the Lexicanum websites, but I'm also going to be using this book a lot, Sigmar's Heirs. And uh, it's the book I use for all of my Fluff Hunter videos for uh, Warhammer Fantasy and any of the regions. And uh, I love it. It's, it's really great and it really gets into the uh, fluff of all the provinces. Look at this! $12. You can bid and it ends in a day and 13 hours. If you are a Warhammer enthusiast, I suggest you go on eBay and find this book, Sun, because it's out of print. Or not out of print, is it? Yeah, probably is out of print. It's Fantasy Flight Games' Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 2nd Edition. Right now, the role-playing game is in the third edition, which means that uh, you're going to have to get this off of Amazon or off of eBay. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into it. The Grand Duchy of Talabekland lies at the center of the empire and borders upon more grand provinces than any other, including Stirling, Raikland, Middenland, Hockland, Ostland, and Ostermark. The, uh, on the tabletop, for those of you who collect Empire for Warhammer Fantasy Battles, it's the red and yellow color scheme. Now, um, in Talabicland, it's like Talabicland is the name of the region, but within the region of Talabicland is the city, the capital city, Talabheim. And the city of Talabheim has an entirely different color scheme, or not entirely different, it's red and white. So it's that classic red and white Warhammer fantasy battles, the uh, empire color scheme, the red and white with the crosses. Uh, cross quarters. But Talapheim is actually just a city within Talabicland. And um, so now we're going to, now that we know what those are, what those look like on the tabletop, let's look at the fluff of the fictional Grand Duchy of Talabicland. Much of the province's trade flows along the rivers Stir and Talabic, and north and south along the Great Forest Road. When times are relatively tranquil, the province is a thriving center of commerce, and the many coaching inns that line the roads of Talabicland are typically filled to capacity with merchants and tradesmen of all kinds. The Grand Duchy of Talabicland is a province of merchants and tradesmen. Their trade relies on the river Talabic and its sister river, the Stir, as well as the winding roads such as the Great Forest Road through the Great Forest which covers the region. The capital is Talapheim, a large city-state built inside a meteorite crater. That's an interesting facet. The city, Talapheim, is built inside a meteorite crater. There's a whole other um, adventure book for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 2nd Edition that describes the city, the different tiers of it, how the rich and opulent live at the top and at the bottom of the meteorite crater. You've got all these refugees from Kislev and the different areas that are fleeing the great storm of chaos led by Archaon. And uh, really, really cool. The most commonly worshipped god in the province is Ta'al, who is the god of wild places, though devotion to Sigmar is also very strong here. So that's an overview of of Talabheim, or Talab, yeah, Talabekland. And yeah, it, throughout the history, its history in the Warhammer world, it's been one of the more aggressive regions, largely responsible for the time of the three emperors, which is very was a very uh, riotous time of upheaval and civil war for the emperor and uh, the, the empire of man. Most of the people of the province are descended from the ancient Talutin tribe who were given the rule of the region between the Talabic and Stir by Sigmar. The people are unusually self-effacing even the nobility. They are considered to be uncouth hayseeds by many of the eastern provinces because of the number of woodsmen who live here in the province and the importance even the town-dwelling families place on rural skills such as fire-making, tracking, and hunting. There's even, okay, I'm going to look through the book now, Sigmar's Heirs. And it talks about how the role of the father is considered especially important to the folk of the great woods. Even town-born men take their sons to, the, sons to the woods for a summer and teach them how to follow a trail, light a fire, and catch a meal. This is considered a matter of practicality, just like a Marienberger who would learn how to swim because Marienberg is located on the ocean. A lad without a father to patiently teach him the ways of the woods and the bow is considered unlucky indeed. 
Sadly, the storm of chaos left many a youngster with no means of initiation into the ways of his forefathers. That was really, really cool, I think, that they actually focus on a facet of the social life instead of just, oh yeah, this is what the region is. They actually talk about how the people place a value and importance on being a good father by teaching your sons and your daughters the way of the woods. Um, Tal it says, also says in the book that it's a thickly forested place because if we look at this map, um, you'll see that it, because it's in the middle, and like I mentioned earlier, it's bordered on, on all these different sides by all these different regions. Here's Talibic land. You can see it's bordered. It's like right in the center. It's bordered by all these different regions. Um, it's taking a little bit of a while to load. The in, almost entire bottom half of Talibic land is given over to the Great Forest. <clears throat> and the Great Forest is... Yeah, it, it's not as haunted as some of the other forests, but it's uh, still full of danger if you're not careful. But it's definitely not as evil and as bad of a forest as other places. Uh, let's see what else we can find in this book. It's got some sayings of Talibic Lind. Oh, hello. I'm on the same page. Some sayings of Talibic Lind are, The woods whisper, but we shall never know. Rub, which means a mad fit of anger. If someone is gone to see if the leaves are green, that's off on a drinking binge in the woods. <laughs> um, seeing the green hills means to be off on a flight of fancy. Something called the big burn is autumn, I guess because the leaves turn red. And tipping a horn means having a drink, especially in praise of ta'al. So I love how in this book you have sayings of the people, local colloquialisms that they say uh, that's another great little facet of it that I think the writers must have had fun with. Um, okay, the Talibic Lin armies wear red and yellow uniforms and usually consist of smaller numbers of elite soldiers rather than the large armies of other regions. Troops from the capital typically, typically substitute white for yellow as uh, noted above. So because of this, I've decided for my tutorial to paint up a great sword in the colors of Talib, uh, Talibic Lin, so in the reds and yellows. So stay tuned for that. It says here that they're also very religious people, and I'm looking again in Sigmar's heirs. They revere all the gods of the empire, but hold special reverence for Ta'al and Rhea. Indeed, Ta'al's greatest temple is found in a small woods outside Talibaheim on the Great Crater. Ulrich is also popular for our, though, although not braggarts, Talibic Linders are known for their warlike ways. Talibheim itself was the home of the cult of Ulrich for a while in the second millennium, when the R. Ulrich left Middenheim for Talibheim after a dispute with the Graf of Middenheim. So warlike, uh, aggressive, kind of simple. They're, they're known, looked down on others as being hayseeds. Uh, at their worst, Talibic lenders can be argumentative, primitive, hard drinking, and mean. And all they, although they don't wear leaves, as others accuse them of doing, Talibic lenders generally issue elaborate clothes and prefer practical garb that can stand up to rough handling. They have a saying, kitted like a rake lender, which is a popular expression for someone who dresses like a dandy. And um, it also says, for those, I don't know if you're interested, Talibic lender speech is smooth with slurred together words, although the cultured elites of Talibheim prefer to speak proper rich spiel. The rest of the empire puts this curious speech down to the well-known Talibic tradition of brewing moonshine liquor in the woods. Many a prejudiced whisper speaks of wild parties held in the deeps of the woods where semi-feral wood folk gather to drink liquor, hunt game, and clamber into reeking sweat lodges. Each year, curious empire folk attempt to find and purchase some of the strange and varied alcohols to come out of Telebicland with little success. And um, the, the final thing here, Talabeklenders resent any attempt to find out exactly how they worship to all out in the woods. Indeed, freedom is very important to them. A man may think nothing of vanishing into the woods for weeks on end if the mood takes him. If that leaves behind a struggling wife and children, then so be it. For if father to all calls, one must answer. It's an interesting uh, way to think about it. And um, at their best, let's look at them that's kind of at their worst but at their best 
they say that Talabic lenders are patient wood folk with a quiet intensity and honor. Reading, writing, and the scholastic arts are respected, but held in second place to the lore of the wilds. The men of Talabic Len favor silence and deed over long-winded speeches, but their women folk are considered suckers for a honeyed word. As a consequence, rakish types, poets, and rake lenders are viewed with firm suspicion throughout the province, though in general, Talabic lenders are more welcoming than their rural Sterling cousins. So that's a little bit of a look at uh, Talabic Len and the people. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Fluff Hunters video. Stay tuned to see how I go about painting a great sword in the Talabic Lend color scheme of red and yellow. And also check out my good buddy Ringo Simpkins, who uh, many of you should know if you're subscribed to my channel. He's also doing some Empire Troopers from Talabic Lend. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.